Hello, hello everybody and welcome to Take It to the Max show with Grandmaster Maxim Blugi and I'm going to be playing some 5 minute chess today as every Friday and hopefully uh, you guys will do better than usually. Uh, the last few times you've taken off one game from me which in the 5 minute pool is pretty, uh, I don't know, it's, it's less than average because I, I managed to go up to almost number 1 in the 5 minute pool this way. So that's that shouldn't be. I I don't think I'm that strong, uh, but uh, but I'm not bad. I'm still I'm still not bad. So um, if you guys can uh, if you guys can do it, uh, then I'll be very happy. Now there haven't been th that many tournaments, but um, uh, of course uh, in the last few days, uh, as the world uh, is experiencing the new year, the year of the monkey. Uh, but uh, of course Tata Steel is coming up in the next uh, week or so and we'll all be uh, very excited to watch that and uh, uh, I'll be happy to, uh, bro to uh, uh, analyze some of those games at some point um, meanwhile where are my opponents my friends where are you I'm seeking five minute pool uh, urgently to play somebody to beat um, and uh, uh, meanwhile as I'm waiting what can I tell you that's interesting um, I suppose uh, it's too late now that we have an opponent who already played the ah, e4 c5 okay now we are in the close Sicilian the favorite of Boris Spassky's um, and the rule goes, as soon as the bishop gets to e3, you play knight d4. That's the rule against the close Sicilian. Aha! Uh -huh. Black is very quick to... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna try to play this feisty move immediately while I can before Black is really... Because Black has played... White has played two moves. Knight d1 and c3, which are not conducive to overall development. So while that's happening, I can develop quickly. And hopefully uh, my fast development will be good enough to compensate for any deficiencies in the pawn structure, if any, that I have. Um, okay, here I can go for the bishop with knight g4. That shouldn't be so bad. Let me, let me try that. Knight g4. Well, then maybe it's a little bit too much. Let's say e5. Okay. At least I got in the move for free. Yeah, this is a little bit of a problem, but uh, maybe I can improve my queen. Queen belongs on c7, a little better than on d8. Anyhow, if I play h3, I just go back. It's not such a great pawn to have on uh, h3 for white, I, th I don't think. <clears throat> it doesn't look like it's improving the, the the position okay now it's true i could take my knight and then play pawn takes pawn on knight d5 but that looks like roughly an equal position so okay interesting interesting stuff okay f4 uh okay i'm going to protect the d5 square one extra time okay not worry about that either everything's protected for now white has his had his chance to go to d5 but uh, uh i think with equality but now it's different now who knows Rook d8 is coming with pressure on the d-pawn. How to deal with that, my friend? Okay, here I am. Okay. Now I can pressure some more. Let's see, queen d7, rook g1. And then knight g6. One idea. All 
All right, I, I don't think it's a bad idea. Defending f5 to uh, make my knight more movable. I'll maybe go after that. Aha, uh -huh, this move I didn't see, but uh, knight g6 is in the air anyway. So I think I'm going to go for that. Okay, now you can certainly play b5. Why not? Let's play b5, get some more space out of this. Oh, this one. Okay, that's nice. Oh, maybe not that nice, right? Not that nice. But anyway, bishop d5 is in my plans. But okay, takes, queen takes, rook takes. <laughs> Not so great. Okay, better defend against that idea then. It's time to get something going. Okay, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the time. Uh, we have four at some point. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I think it's time to get going. To get something going here. The king side is waiting to be attacked. King White, King side is waiting to be attacked. Okay, let's do it. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. I can take that one. But I can also... Oh. oh complicated position you know what I'm gonna take this pawn and go back from where I came from okay it's a good deal take it all right take it and here, okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Better take that and move in to go to f4 with my knight. Okay, somehow I sniped the pawn. So not all is lost, my friends. It's totally to say I'm winning. White definitely has compensation. But okay, here I'm gonna cover up that nasty rook. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Wants to win back the pawn. That's fine, but maybe it's dangerous to take that pawn. Let's see. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. deciding to. Okay, let's open up my bishop and defend the pawn at the same time.
interesting end game but only i can be winning only i can be win can be winning so that's not so bad okay 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 better play fast that's for sure better stop playing fast or else oh yeah yeah missed that i missed that missed rookie eight check so now it'll be a fun game only pawn up with no time left no time left there it is I think that's it maybe maybe not ah uh, takes uh, and Bishop d4 goodbye my friend goodbye my friend it's been a cool game but it's too all over it's all over okay tough one wow that was a tough game you gotta admit right look at these look at these amazing moves my opponent came up with now what happened was why did i strike in on the queen king side like an idiot or wasn't it idiotic maybe it was okay here i i decided that if i start concentrating too much on the queen side uh, i'm going to lose the side of where i'm better and i'm definitely better on the king side here with all my uh nice pawns here right and knights this is where i went for the king side attack on g4 i was planning to go h5 continue the attack so my opponent got extremely agitated by that and sacked the pawn i took the pawn and then he started to get some positioning in the pieces but knight b3 i don't think white has time for really what could he have done i don't know but not uh not that uh maybe takes and uh queen g2 just just play the position like that quickly go into an ending but still black is better even here um so after i took knight g3 bishop h3 knight b3 um i took and maybe taking was actually a mistake and queen g4 now this is very complicated whether this is maybe it's not even better uh i expected white to take the bishop and uh, with an unclear position but anyway here we are and my second game of the day let's take it to the max with this game knight c3 queen d2 f3 let's do it take it uh all right okay all right let's see what my opponent's thinking here okay so here i gotta say maybe i should castle complicated position okay I'm gonna take this guy mm. 
and take care. Very interesting. I don't know. Queen takes a2, knight takes f6, king g7, maybe knight c3, queen a1, knight b1, king takes f6. What is that? What is going on? He decided against it. Okay. There must have been something to it. Okay. Now, h4, bishop h6, so f4 probably. But you know, my friends, I'm two pawns up. This looks like a pretty good deal for yours truly, actually. Where's the beef? Where's the compensation? Definitely take the pawn. All right. Time to knock out the wind of that bishop. Defend, defend, defend. Rook d1 is coming up. Pretty much game over. I think black had to go for that p sack and take on a2. But who knows? Uh, maybe that was not so great either. We'll take a look in a sec. Meanwhile, let's start exchanging some pieces. Go into a different kind of ending here. Get one of those bishops back and now i'm just two pawns up for nothing and weaknesses for black as well yeah okay so not a very good game very quickly played by black uh, key moment was of course here after knight takes d5 uh i think black had to take uh, knight f6, king g7, and I don't know, uh, queen here, maybe, I don't know, maybe rook here, rook here, king takes, um, knight g3, king back, okay, I could of course trade queens, but that's not so great for me, maybe, okay, let's say I trade queens, take take how's this position i'm a pawn up but black can probably win this pawn back eventually somehow right knight a5 and probably he gets to win that pawn with an equal position so uh black had to go for it i'm, I'm sorry to say black had to go for it uh all right let's uh continue okay let's do this again well here i could actually play e4 and queen d2 Hmm, interesting. All right, then I'm going to exchange. I think I'm going to just exchange bishops. Yeah, take. And just develop my pieces. That's all. I just want to exchange bishops and develop my pieces. Uh, okay, on this one, I'm going to play d5. <laughs> okay, that's smart. Okay, I'm going to take. Now the question is, okay, I guess I'm going to castle. Black's king side is a little bit loose. So opening up the position eh, looks dangerous. Let's say d5 takes, right? Knight g5, threatening checkmate, basically. Knight d6, in my opinion, is pretty much checkmate. This is going to be a family fork on e6. How is it going to be stopped? Black will probably have to go bishop c8 at some point. But then I'll get the bishop here. There we go. He heard me. Correct. Still, the bishop pair is mine for the taken. 
Okay, bishop b5, knight d4. Ah, not so good. Okay, go for the bishop pair. Okay, now a good move for the rook. What's a good score for the rook? Help me out. Rook e5, queen g6, rook e1, knight g4, rook e3, knight g4. I can't keep it doubled, huh? Rook e5, queen d6, rook e1, knight g4, rook e7. And then, then it's hanging. Okay, I better go all the way back. Now maybe I should trade these knights. This knight looks pretty, pretty. No, can't trade the knights. Then I got to stop knight g4. Ooh, queen h3 was a possibility. Queen h3 was a possibility. <sighs> okay, better start trading stuff. Better start trading stuff. Now on queen h3, I can get the d5 pawn, so it's okay. And otherwise, I just get the bishops. My friendly bishop. I don't know. Complicated. Somehow I didn't get the advantage I deserved. And now I could have played c4 in fact. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I finally blundered it. I finally blundered it. Oh God. I can't calculate too 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 long, but let me try this move. Let me try this move. Bishop C four and C three. Who knows? Got him thinking at least. It's the least I need from my opponent. Tough. My God, I'm losing this game. If he plays well, I should be losing. At least I got him thinking. What else do you want in a five minute game? Get your opponent thinking. And who knows? Maybe you'll win on time. This move I don't think was best. It's not. Oh no, maybe this. Okay.
<laughs> see through you or not? Yeah, I'm gonna play C3, I think. I'm gonna play C3. And I'm gonna take. Okay, I've got this position. It's not so bad. I don't think it's that bad. Keep my bishop. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I blundered that. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. That was not smart at all. Okay. Okay. Time to get my king into position on the other side of the board, then. Huh. All right. Let's go. Let's go ape on. Let's go ape on. Okay, let's see what happens now. I just care about my A pawn, that's all. That's all my friends, just the A pawn. Just the A pawn, really. Is this gonna be an upset? Maybe yes, maybe no. Check first. Check first and ask questions later, as they say. Ah, I got myself a queen. And that's already more than I could say about my position before. That's already more than I could say. Okay, my friends, an upset in the sense that I won a game that I was obviously worse in. Ah, my old friend Lufus, he's back to taunt me all the way from China. All right. Let's get complicated. Let's get complicated here, my friend Lufus. I don't care about your C4 move, I'm just going to play my moves. all right white came prepared white came prepared for this game oh well, maybe not so much all right let's get that guy off the board uh 95 not so scary maybe just move my knight in into the where it wants to go which is of course e6 My knight wants to go to e6 and then d4. Time to move my queen. Before it gets stuck anywhere else. And preparing my knight root. Knight f8, e6, d4, my friends. That is what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to accomplish. The weak square d4. I don't have such a weak square. My d5 isn't weak. Therefore, it's looking like I'm the one with the plan here. Well, my knight's going. What about you? Okay. My friend Lufus is going to try to hold this position without much control over the dark squares. Everything is possible. But it will not be an easy task. I assure you. It has not been the best played opening by Lufus. So, we'll see how it goes from now on. 
Of course, exchanging pieces is a good idea when you're down in your luck, but okay. Here I am. Here I am. Okay, now this is definitely the moment to try to strike. When your opponent is showing that he has not solved his issues. Uh, so here's my bishop coming in. Coming in loud and clear to d2, my friends. Okay, so you're wondering, I'm coming to d2. Mm, nice one. Bishop d2, queen d2, knight of three. No such luck. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna keep the pressure on by keep, keeping the bishop looking at that square. It's, yes. I can always play 96 and try to put my rook there as well. Let's keep white guessing where I'm coming from. That's generally the way to win such positions. Keep your opponent guessing when you're better. Don't let him exchange too many things. And you're on your way to a nice win over whoever it is. Okay. Now what? Now I'm going to go queen e7 to i the b pawn, but also to i the c pawn with queen e6. Okay. He wants to exchange knights. I'll let him do that. He doesn't want to exchange knights. Okay. Then. Let's attack the C pawn. Okay, now I can already win a pawn. Maybe I take on B2. He takes attack A1. No, let's keep it closed. Keep everything closed. Now another target for my pawn for my bishop on. Uh, d2 if it gets there no, no changes of course keep it all closed up for now okay good now now what now maybe it's time to defend the pawn on g7 And come in with the queen. Help my queen move in to c4 or b3. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll protect my rook for now. Now, he's playing very well, this guy. How can I win? gonna wait wait to see how white defense it's gonna be diff more and more difficult to keep finding defensive moves like like he has been with time okay good one good one but mm-hmm I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait again. Waiting sometimes is the easiest way to win a position like this, as I said. 
Mm -hmm. Now prepare to play. Prepare to open up the D file. Okay. Oh, missed that. Okay, fine. And now, time to shoot them up. Shoot them up into the oblivion. My friends, as I said, very difficult to hold a position like this. Maybe queen h1, but still, I still could have played bishop h4 then. And won some material, maybe winning rook and pawn ending eventually, four against three. Who knows? Anyway, poor Lufus, I feel for him, but I don't think I can suggest a move. This is very problematic. Yeah. Okay. So, excellent. One for me. I think I evened up the score with Lufus after this one. Uh, what was the problem in White's game? Can anyone tell me? The correct answer would be when you take on e5, it's extremely, it's an extremely serious decision you've made because the d4 square is now occupied by me, but the d5 square is not occupied by White. So if white ever black ever gets a knight in there, problems. And look how easy Lufus made it for me. Take that knight that I could, that could potentially protect d4, and just move the other knight. And then bishop g5 is really helpful, right? And boom, and white is struggling the whole way through, right? This to protect here, to con to um, to attack here. And at some point I could have played something with a5 to weaken him up, but I just kept, I just kept the advantage forever, right? I, without any real attempts to win immediately. Um, and uh, still, still the position is bad. Uh, white was never ever close to equal. Even just waiting eventually white cracks right now he makes a mistake opens himself up now bishop h4 is going to be always in the air and of course that's what happened okay skako hello my friend and good luck all right knight f3 and you know what i do on that i repeat after you no problem g6 the kids the king's indian the kid is is here with us the kid is here with us. What you gonna do? Okay. All right. Attack, 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 attack. All right, let's get d5 in. Come on. All right, let's not. Let's wait a bit. Let's wait a bit. Okay, take my pawn. It's all yours. It's definitely all yours, if you want it. If you want it, you can have it. It's a sale. Yep. There it is. Time to defend your knight and bishop. Because it's attacked. Both of them, I mean, are. Okay. White has a couple of moves. Black is reasonable compensation. Let's see how it goes. Oh, really? You didn't see anything better than that? Well. Ah. Wow. That move. Interesting. Okay. Now I'm looking at Queen H4. Mm hmm. Or Queen D8. Should I get G3 in? I think so. I think I should get g3 in, right? So weakening. Bishop, my bishop gets to h3 in one move after that. Why not get h4? Uh, I mean, that move in is what I'm saying. So e5 I don't agree with. White has to move his knight instead, but 
that's in a bliss game if you don't know what you're doing you could miss that move knight b3 and knight c2 was the way to protect against queen f6 but was it good enough only his oh wait i have queen h3 i don't see that queen h3 threatening maybe knight c4 should i do it no let's be consistent i wanted to go bishop h3 so here it is bishop h3 okay now what how's this position okay f5 oh i can't go f5 now wow that was a mistake then i should have done something else better correct my mistake go back with the bishop yeah on c5 i should have just played bishop e6 it's such a beautiful square oh uh, i didn't see that i'm sorry i did not see that ay yeah yeah problems i'm creating problems for myself i'm missing obvious moves look at that look at that now i'm lost look at that now i'm lost well i better take that guy hey yeah yeah i'm completely lost i'm just completely lost here how did that happen oh all right definitely have to stop queen b3 that's for sure if i allow queen b3 it'll be all over i allowed queen b3 <laughs> mamma mia ay 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 okay this one is not been my best game i've been losing every little nudge here everything i could lose i lost i missed every little nook and cranny but of course the biggest one was putting a bishop on a square which was attacked by the knight i just didn't see it glaring glaring mistake i should be resigning this one and so I'm continuing to play like a fool that I am. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. And look who's coming to dinner. The queen is coming to dinner. Evidently, not with the friendliest of intentions. That queen is coming. Yeah. I see many ways for white to win and the only reason I'm not yeah this is one of them in fact very nicely can calculate it by black by white that is oh, I thought bishop takes bishop was good enough but you know what I'm gonna call it a day enough's enough wow all right and back to Lufus immediately back to Lufus to try to get some sanity back after that horror okay well lufus i'm gonna play g3 in here uh just go 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 check lufus now well, lufus knows better lufus does, doesn't give up pawns so easily good for you my friend Someone I was playing just gave, just gave that pawn up on b7. Lufus found the move. 
He's been around, Lufus, my friend. He's been around. Feisty, feisty. The way he's playing, very feisty. But is it good? Maybe it's just feisty. Okay. I want to play e4. I'm dying to play e4. Alright, I better take this guy. Although, who knows? Maybe it'll be the last time, thing I see. Can I protect myself? I'm not sure. Okay, this one. Doesn't seem so dangerous. But I might be wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. What's happening here is a real battle of wits because whoever wins this tactical melee is going to be right. And whoever doesn't is going to be lost. And that's what this position is about. This is a pretty significant uh, attempt. Yeah, now bishop f4, rook f4, and if knight f4, queen g5, and then rook takes f4. And who knows what's going on there? And if I don't do that, if I don't do that, what happens? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Very interesting pin here on F four. Very interesting. Lufus is thinking, and he's right to think. This is not an easy decision. All right. Now what? Now what do they have in mind, huh? I had this in mind, actually. And attack down the G file. While Black's pieces are still preparing to develop, I'm going to be attacking. My next move is Rook G1. Here it is. Okay.
now probably here just so I can double on the G file okay definitely time to take moment of truth okay time to double in the g file as promised can anyone guess what i'm threatening well i think lufus sees what i'm threatening that's why he's got to thinking now maybe too late maybe a little bit too late for Lufus for my friend Lufus aha uh -huh. okay you know what I'm going for it oops maybe I can't knight f5 queen d8 What if I play knight h5, then bishop d7, huh? Actually, that's fine. That's what I'm gonna do, knight h5. Okay. All right. Take this guy. Now I'm going to go. Wow. Play rook g7. I'll play rook g7 now. No, not now. Now let's play queen. B4. And B4 first. Okay, then. Let's play with G7 now. Very interesting game, huh? Mm hmm nice move okay now I have to take this is not this is not what I wanted actually okay this is bad okay I gotta break through first I will be dangerous Top game. Tough game. Lufus fought like a tiger. Lufus fought like a tiger, but now it's too late. Okay, guys, this was something, huh? I liked it. Okay, let's uh Let's close it out with the next game. This was something. I don't know. I don't know what was happening exactly, but clearly, clearly, you saw how important tactics and general positional understanding are in this kind of stuff, right? So here we have this amazing position where I decide to to sack and then just move away and double on the um, double on the G file. Black plays here and okay. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, you guys should analyze that game. That is a cool game. If I say so myself. Okay, now, okay, this is your chance. This is your chance, my opposition, to shine and win the second game today. 
second game in the series, which hasn't happened in a while. Mm. In a long time. I've been winning every game but one. I lost my game to Skako after an unbelievable display of re retardness. Retardiness. And so now, you have a chance. Light-like. You can take it. Be the second German to beat me today. You can take it to the max here with the correct display of positional and I don't know what else chess. Okay, meanwhile, meanwhile, what should I be doing? What should I be doing here? Maybe developing my queen somewhere? I don't know what's going on exactly, but I feel like I have a good position. I have the open C file, and if white attacks with his pawns and pieces, I do have knight f8 to defend and ward off some of these nasty threats. Maybe queen b6. Maybe that's not right. You know what? I'm going to reposition my queen. I'm going to go queen c7, b8, a8. And hit the e-pawn from the side. Now that I'm ready to protect my king with knight of 8 I think that should be fine. So here it is. Queen c7. I kind of expected that. Queen b8. And uh, yeah, queen a8 at some point. Always look in Blitz to regroup your pieces. Uh, you know, look for better piece, better piece placements that you already have. This is one of the ways to s spend idle time when your opponent's thinking. Just look at possible regroupings. Okay, here, Queen A8 is not a pawn sack, right? What is it? Okay, let me defend. I'm not sure it's not. I'm not sure it's not there's some lines with rook takes rook who knows so better safe than sorry a6 for now queen a8 isn't running away in fact it has not run away at all here it is and aha uh -huh. is it time okay i'm gonna improve white spawn structure quote unquote okay there's definitely improved white spawn structure right okay that i have always had a defense against that and you know Everybody in the house knows what it is. I've been telling everybody. I kept no secret about knight f8. That's my defensive option. Threatening? What, nada? All right. That's not bad. Um, here comes my knight. By popular demand, my knight has arrived to g6. Who knows? I may be... Okay. Is it time to take? Should I allow bishop e5? Well, no, not sure. Let's try to exchange some stuff with knight b4. Mm. I think I'm going to go for that. Safe and sound. That's how I'm going to play. I don't need much. If the queens are off, white's position is dangerous.
<clears throat> okay, white's going for every imaginable exchange. Now, I could actually take on C2 first and then take on E1 and then I'm going to be lost. So, I'm <laughs> so I can't. So I'm not going to do that. Okay. Now this one Mm -hmm. Okay, he wants to play the, he wants to equalize. This is this is a problem. Black has played very well. I mean white has played very well. So it's time to do something good too for a change. I'm gonna take here. And keep um, keep the keep the isolated pawn. I'm just keep the isolated pawn around. Now take the C file or not? No. So what do I do? Rook B eight. E three ninety five. Okay. Rook B8, 95. Okay, still have some advantage. I misplayed the position horribly, but still have an advantage because of the isolated deep one. Okay. And time to double, triple, and quadruple on the D file. I'm doing the D file, he's doing the C file. Interesting. Bishop d5 is a possibility, but then I don't have to take the bishop. I can take this here. Take that here. And take this. Okay, finally pawn up. It's going to be enough to win. Who knows? Been playing badly. Giving white his chances to survive. But a pawn is a pawn. Let's do it. Let's go for his B pawn. Aha. Uh -huh. Fine. Let's take the C file. The only file open. It's the only file open right now. Oh, nice move. Oh man, nice move. Missed it completely. Okay, now it looks like a draw. Now it looks like a drawish position to me. So I misplayed it so badly. Okay, knight d5. Okay. Now what? Am I going to be worse now? If I'm playing so badly? Wow. Insidious moves like that are always difficult to defend against, hopefully. Hmm. <laughs> How do I win? Okay, at least I move my king into position. Now what? Just to lose a pawn, huh? Nice. Nice! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god, I lost on time. My god. I my god. I completely lost track of the time. And guys, you got it. Two games for you today. Excellently played. 
fantastic result. Uh, Should have won this one, but hey, that's the way. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So, five for me, two for you. Congratulations, and see you next week. This was Take It to the Max Show, and you guys got two points today. Congratulations, and all the best to you. Uh, see you next week. Take care. This is Grandmaster Max Loogie.